Now, I view these instruments several times a day, every single day. And two days ago, I published some photographs that I captured on the Stereo Ahead Core 2 imaging. The exact same screen that you're looking at right now. Now, at this timestamp, 10.09.17, this is AM UTC time. Right up here was an impression of a very large round object that appeared in the image. Now, whenever I was going back through all of the information, because remember, uh, two days ago, all of the NASA websites were down offline for more than 12 hours. So, this morning, I wanted to go back to this timestamp, and I wanted to further investigate the image that I captured. Well, lo and behold, I'm at the exact same timestamp, minus 18 seconds, and the image is no longer there.
And it was right here. Right there. Scott, you just don't get it, do you? You don't. Now, for some reason, because they, they doctored the images and the timestamp, my image was captured at 10.09.17. The images that you're looking at on the actual stereo site, they no longer go to 10.09.17. They go to 10.09.35, like what you're seeing right here. Or excuse me, uh, 10.09.17. My image was captured on 10.09.35. So, whenever we go back to the actual stereo website, same timestamp, same date, they removed the image. They just flat out removed it. So, you know, it makes you wonder, well, why would they do that? Was there something to cover up? Did we expose a real image of Planet X in the Stereo Ahead Core 2 images from NASA? Oi, 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 oi.